I am gonna show you how I made this Louis Vuitton. Um, I call it a Louis Vuitton wall. Some people call it an art piece, but I'm gonna show you how I make it. So let's get into this video. So first, to get these Louis Vuitton pattern pieces, I used my Cricut Maker and I used the permanent vinyl. Uh, the colors I used is black, bracken, which is like a bronzy brown, silver and shimmer, and brown and white. Um, I used the Cricut Maker, which just makes things so much easier for cutting precise shapes. And then after cutting out these shapes, I'm going to lay out the pattern just to make sure I have enough pieces and we're good to go. All right, this would be the last one. It looks so good. You guys, I'm really excited. These are actually a lot bigger than I expected them to be, but I kind of like it. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What is that? Four, eight, eight. Plus four. Plus four. Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm gonna make sixteen of these, and then I'm gonna cut them in half, and those will be halves for the bottom, halves for the sides, and halves for the top. So one of the next steps was for me to paint the board. Um, I chose to go with like a silvery white color, as you can see. And I really like it because it just makes the colors pop. Um, but unfortunately, I did not have my full-size roller brush. It's just me and this little brush for the next hour. Yes. Oh, this is gonna take forever. I As you can see, it is coming along. The board is painted. This side has one coat. This side has like two, almost. I did go with a matte finish. One of the most important reasons for choosing a matte colored paint was so that I could shine a ring light, use this as a background when I'm filming. I can shine a ring light on this and you don't see the big ring that usually shows up. All right guys, so this is more coats, more coats and more coats. Um, I'm gonna keep painting this probably a few times. I wanna make sure the color is nice and thick. I wanted this piece to look very complete, very finished and not too DIY. One of the things that was really important to me was having a frame. So I went to Lowe's when I got this board and I also picked up trim board, which is like for crown molding or um, other projects. And I used that I, and I spray painted those for the frame for my board. Okay, so I'm just gonna be using this iPhone charger and this measuring tape to line up the middle. This is where my first LV is going to go. And then I will do the pattern to go around it. And then woo, I've laid out the pattern. Um, what I'm gonna do is I did these stars as placeholders so I could get the spacing of these right. And then I'm going to remove these and apply transfer tape across this row. So that way I can lay it all down, hopefully very easy and, and smoothly. So that's my plan because I don't wanna like start like fingering or touching the, the vinyl. <laughs> nice about this is I can kind of slide it around a little bit so I can make sure that they're straight and then um, yeah so I'm gonna keep doing this and then I'll show you guys a finished product it's coming along this is actually like the easiest part of the project I think the hardest part was just deciding to do it so now you see that everything is all laid out it's all stuck down I have my additional side pieces so that the pattern continues to the edge. That's not a, that's definitely not a step you wanna skip on. It makes it just look more like a completed piece of work, you know? Like if you just have the pattern in the middle, I think it would just be so tacky. 
Oh my gosh, they look amazing. Oh, it's all dry now. Really nice even application, honestly. Like, I was kind of worried. I don't usually spray paint things, but honestly, I, I just might start. I did really well. Yes, yes. So now I'm cutting the edges of these to make the picture frame. I've already done one of them. Um, so I'm just gonna do the rest of them. And I've got my skill saw, so we are good to go. So I have these clamps holding down the frame. I used liquid nails, which I'm hoping is good enough. I'm just doing this side and this side at a time because I bought a pack of clamps today, but I didn't buy two. So this is gonna dry, and then we're gonna add the other side of the frames, gonna glue those down, and then figure out how we're gonna hang it up. And now, it's up! It's finished! It looks so good. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. As you can tell, I am obsessed with my Cricut Maker. I've made this. I'm gonna be making so much more projects. Um, I've got a lot of just like art things that I wanna do around the house. Obviously, I don't want anything that looks too DIY. Um, so definitely, if you're looking for some tasteful home decor slash DIY art projects that don't look DIY, then I'm your guy. So make sure you give it a big thumbs up to this video. If you thought it was cool, share it with your friends because I need the views. And also subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!